hi guys it's Jody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some stuffed fish with callaloo and shrimp yes so here I have three parrot fish that I already washed and clean and remove the guts from it and what I did guys I cut into it okay you wanna make two slices so when you season it all the seasoning will go right into it okay so i'm just gonna show you how i cut it like so and if you don't have parrot fish you can use whatever fish you have at home yes so these are all of my seasoning here i have one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning one teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. But guys, as I always said, if you don't have all the seasoning that I'm using, you can always use whatever seasoning you have at home, okay? Yes. And make sure when you're washing your fish, you wash it with some lemon juice or with some vinegar, okay? Just to remove the rawness from it. So first, I'm just gonna start off by drizzle some olive oil on my fish just to keep it nice and nice I'm telling you this recipe is gonna be so good I add at least two spoon of olive oil yes then I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt not a lot because you know this seasoning already full of so much salt then I'm just gonna blend all my seasoning together and I'm just gonna season my fish make sure all the seasoning is all covered on the fish because you want your fish to be nice and full of flavor and I'm gonna also put some seasoning inside of the belly part up in the head put some on the back So guys, it is nicely, nicely seasoning and that's perfect. So I'm just going to leave it to the side, okay? Yeah. So this is my shrimp and guys, I'm only using a small amount of shrimp, not a lot. And I'm using some medium sized shrimp, okay? So this is my remaining seasoning that's left. That I use to season my fish so now I'm just gonna add it all to my shrimp I'm just take my hand and just massage all that seasoning all over on my shrimp So that's done and I'm gonna also add at least one teaspoon of olive oil just gonna massage it all in so these are all of my fresh herbs here I have some bell peppers and I've got all the colors 
and this is just half okay I also have just half of carrot that I finely chop some tomato half of tomato just a small amount of scotch bonnet pepper because I don't want it to be too spicy three cloves of finely chopped garlic and half of onion a small amount of fresh thyme and just a small amount of scallion okay yes and this is my callaloo guys and I'm using the callaloo from the can okay if you have the fresh callaloo you get it but true I'm living abroad you don't really see the fresh one as much so normally I would use this one yes So here I have my pot and my stove and my stove is on a medium heat okay do not turn up your stove too high and to my pot I add at least two spoonful of olive oil yes so now I'm gonna add my onions first and my garlic and you're just gonna allow it to saute just for a couple of seconds So just after a couple of seconds guys, I'm going to add my carrot, my tomato, my spring onions, my fresh thyme and all my bell peppers, okay? That color look amazing in the pot. I'm gonna give it a stir. And you're just gonna leave it guys for at least one minute or so, okay? No longer than that. So just after a minute, I'm just gonna add some all-purpose seasoning, at least one teaspoon. Give it a stir. And now I'm gonna add my callaloo, okay? Make sure your pot is not oily, okay? Because you want your callaloo to be firm. You don't want it to be too, too soft. So I'm just gonna leave my callaloo for at least three minutes because you know the callaloo guys is already cooked okay it already pre-cooked so you don't want it to cook out too much i'm gonna add at least half teaspoon of seasoned salt and half teaspoon of black pepper and half teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning yes yeah. And guys, I add just a pinch of salt behind the camera, okay? So now I'm gonna add my shrimp. And I'm just gonna leave my shrimp just for one minute. Because you know my shrimp is gonna go into the oven. And you don't want it to overcook, yeah. That look amazing so so good you can see not a lot of water that's in it that's exactly how you want it you don't want it to look mushy mushy and full of water so this is all finished guys so it is ready to stuff my fish that's perfect so
so I'm gonna add my fish to my glass baking tray so what I'm gonna do first I'm just gonna add some butter at least one teaspoon of butter then I'm gonna add some fresh thyme at the bottom with some scallion okay then I'm just gonna lay my fish like so so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stuff my fish Just gonna put all that color low, all that shrimp on the inside, but take your time, okay? So it doesn't fall out. Make sure it is all in the head too. I'm telling you, it smells super, super delicious, guys. So, 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 so good. So you see that? That's exactly how you want it. So I'm gonna put it in my oven guys for at least 25 minutes for now okay so stay tuned so for my other fish guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wrap it with my file okay I'm just showing you guys that you can do it both way yes so I'm just gonna add my kalalo and my shrimp on the inside So you see it, you can do it both way. And I'm gonna put this one in my oven for at least 30 minutes. 30 to 35 minutes and 150 degrees Celsius, okay? I'm adding one spoonful of butter. Just gonna wrap it. When I wrap it, I squeeze the end. I'm gonna wrap it over again. So this is my baking tray and to my baking tray what I did I add a grill okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some water not a lot so when the fish steam it will steam properly yes and it not dried out 
So in the oven she goes. Stay tuned guys. So before I put my fish in my oven, what I did guys, I cover it with a file paper so it's steamed properly, okay? So make sure you do that. So it's been in my oven just over 25 minutes. So this is what it looks like and I'm telling you, it looking so, 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 so good. So what I did behind camera, I add at least one spoonful of butter to my baking tray, okay? And I also add just a bit of parsley, which is optional. So now I'm just going to take all that delicious, yummy, buttery sauce and pour it all over on my fish. And I'm telling you guys, it's looking super, super yummy. This recipe right here is a must try. Your family, your friend, everyone is going to enjoy it. It is so nice, so succulent, oh my goodness, so yummy. Just going to give you guys an up close look. And the color loo is right in the inside. It hasn't comes out. So make sure when you're stuffing it, it go right through. Because you don't want the color loo to fall out. So this is perfect. So back in the oven for 5 minutes and it is ready. And 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, so stay tuned. So I just removed my fish from the oven and I also removed the file paper from my tray. And guys, this is what it look like. And I'm telling you, it's looking absolutely delicious. Trust me. I give this recipe 10 out of 10. Guys, honestly, it is so 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 good. Please guys, share this video to your families, to your friends and everyone on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. I work so hard just to get this video out for you guys. So please, please support my channel. And if you have been supporting my YouTube channel, I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you. So I just removed this one from my oven guys and it's been in the oven for 40 minutes okay so now I'm gonna take my time and pull it Oh my goodness, <laughs> it looks good, it looks very good, oh my goodness, do you see that heat, all that steam coming from it, this looks amazing guys, oh. this is like food corn right here, looks super super delicious. And it makes all these juice. This is so, so yummy. The fish is so juicy, so nice.
super super delicious i wish you guys could be in my kitchen because it smells amazing I'm just gonna add some parsley on top just to give it some color. These are some nice delicious recipe and it's so healthy. If you do try this recipe, please comment below guys and tell me what it's like, okay? And don't forget to share, 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 share. Everyone that's watched this video, please share it. See that? Yummy. So I'm just showing you guys my three fish all together. And I'm telling you, as I said, it looking absolutely delicious. You can eat it by itself or you can serve it with some mashed potato, with some dumpling, with some art food, some rice, whatever you preferred. Please guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe so you can receive more delicious videos like these and hit your notification button for whenever i upload a video you will be the first to see it don't forget to thumbs the video up guys thumbs it up thumbs it up thumbs it up <laughs>